Good afternoon. Hope you guys are having a great day. So I'm kind of getting a little better every day. By no means am I all the way better, but we're slowly getting there. So I have my ups and downs. I have moments where I have to sit down and take a break and that's okay. But right now I'm in the kitchen because I am so tired of not having something cooked to eat. And I'm coming here and I'm going to make quite a few things that we'll have for the rest of the week. So I bought a big thing of chicken, which I'm thawing right now. And then I'm going to make some chicken salad out of it that we can have for like sandwiches. And I'm actually gonna eat it for lunch. So I'm looking forward to that. And for the rest of it, I'm gonna make some chicken for quesadillas and then just have some extra for what everybody else wants to use it for over the next couple days. So I um, just came back from the grocery store and I went to get some medicine. I don't usually take a whole lot of medicine, but over the last couple days I've had to. I've had to get cough drops, Mucinex, and just like um, ibuprofen, um, Tylenol for my headache. And so I went to kind of stock up and there was nothing over there. Nothing. The aisles were, the aisle was like completely empty. I think I found one thing of ibuprofen, but there was, there was nothing there. But I went to Walmart, so maybe they're just out and maybe somebody else has it. But by the time I was done there, I just had, didn't have any energy to go anywhere else. So hopefully I'll be able to find it somewhere else. So if y'all being cold and flu season right now, it's a good thing. Thing to maybe stock up on if you can find it. I also found this when I was out at Walmart which I thought was pretty cool. It's like a little grease container because you know you don't want to dump it down the sink and you can also use it to cook with which I've heard that oils and things like that might be short this year. Butter and so I thought well I'm always looking for something to dump my grease in so I thought this was pretty cool. It's like a little silicone thing. It doesn't get hot and it's got like a little trap on it and it's easy to dump it out if you need to. So I'll probably use that for bacon grease. I use, I use that for cooking when I'm frying up other things, so or making gravy. And I always use my KitchenAid meat grinder for chicken salad. It works so good. All right, so I got my meat grinded up, my chicken, and I've got enough for my chicken salad, which I'm gonna finish here. And this will be for later for the quesadillas. Now I'm going to put some eggs in here courtesy of the chickens and thank goodness the chickens gave me some eggs because I was at the grocery store today and the eggs were like four dollars five dollars a carton that was a dozen and that was just like the cheapest brand eggs that they had I couldn't believe it so glad I have chickens and if you don't have chickens now it might be a good time to get some guys I think it's done and I'm fixing to have me a sandwich and I'll see you guys in a bit all right guys I have made it to the greenhouse and it sure is a pretty day here in January it's a little bit cooler we're not up to 70 but that's just I'm kind of glad because 70 in January is just it just doesn't make sense but um, the wind is kind of blowing I've got my window open and that cool breeze feels good in here because we're at 75 I mean it's just perfect in here I really just need to sit here on my bench and just soak in some of this vitamin D from the sun. It just feels great. All right, so I have, I've noticed I need to repot a few little things in here. Actually, not a few. There's always something to do. My succulents are always having little pups, little offshoots, and, and that is always good to just come in here and put them in little pots, which I did earlier today. And like I said, that helps the other plant. It helps the mama plant continue to be able to grow and get nutrients and then it helps the little pup take off too and my succulents they they reproduce all the time there's always little pups or offshoots or leaves that can be propagated so there's they're always growing in here now this section over here I have some house plants that I got in the summertime at Walmart actually in their little nursery section or Lowe's they also have little house plants in there and they have like tripled in size. So some of them have outgrown their pots and they're starting to tip over. So it is time to repot some of them. 
This one right here especially keeps falling over. And it is a Olympia false Aurelia. And then it has a very scientific name, which I will not get into that because I don't want to pronounce it and butcher it. But I just call it a really cute plant. It grows vertically and it does really good on this side of the greenhouse. So it just, I love the look of it. So we're gonna put it in one of these terracottas that I bought before I got sick. Now, a lot of these house plants, I have found that they do really well in a lot of different varieties of temperatures because my greenhouse got 90s most of the summer as long as the vent fan was on. If I didn't have a vent fan in here, it would be, everything in here would probably melted. <laughs> but they tolerate you know, 95 and then all the way down to 50s. So they do really good. I think the biggest thing as far as these house plants is just not getting way too much sun. If it you know, says, this one says medium light. So it does really good over here, which gets most of the morning sun. Morning sun is good for a lot of plants because it is not harsh and a lot of plants will do well unless you have you know, tropicals or some certain type of succulents that like tons of light. And to be honest, this plant is sitting close to my artificial light, which I think it's probably not liking it as much because some of the leaves are kind of burnt on the ends. So it probably would like a little bit less light. So I'm gonna move it away from those lamps a little bit. That's gonna be really cute. Look at that. All right, let's add some soil to this. I'm really loving this little potting bench my husband got me for Christmas. Before I had my soil in a Rubbermaid container and it was drawing too much moisture and it would mildew and mold and I wanted to get away from that. All right, that looks good. I'm actually gonna put this over here. See if it likes it over here a little better. Now, when I move a plant I watch it closely because in my greenhouse there are different little climates I say like over here is the the sunniest side of the greenhouse and then a little bit less sunny with the shade cloth but still quite a bit of sun then you got the middle it's kind of an in-between and then you got over here and then you got some by the door so there's just all kinds of different little areas in here and plants like certain areas and then certain times of seasons you can move them around depending on you know the temperature and how much um, hours of light you get and so um, some plants I do move around in here and I just watch them I watch the signs of stress or enjoyment if they're liking that area I can see that they're doing well so I just kind of take note of that and just watch my plants closely because if something doesn't like something it'll it'll tell you pretty quickly so all right y'all check out my lemons they're still doing really good a lot of them on there. I hope they continue to grow. I was never able to go out and get any of my citrus fertilizer due to my illness, but when I feel like I'm out of the woods to be around people, I think I'm gonna go out and get some and we'll give, we'll give it to that tree over there. Now this plant right here is so big. I don't know if you can tell by the video, but it is massive and it's got a little bloom here. It's got one up here, and I just found it because it was hiding under this graptive area, so I pulled it out, but it's so awesome. Look at that. Look at all those little babies in here. Well, this one's got a little bloom coming up on actually three. Two and three. So cool. And this etchev area right here is in bloom, fixing to open up. And then I've got one over here that sprung one out. And it's got little yellow flowers. Look at that. Is that not so cool? Lovely, lovely. Lots of action going on in here in the greenhouse. I think that I've done all I'm going to do in here today and kind of take the rest of the day easy. I've got supper ready, which is pretty exciting. I don't have to do it later, so that gives me the rest of the evening to do whatever else I need to do. I think I actually... I think I'll actually go down to the shop in a little bit because the guys are just about done with the gun cabinet and I've not got to look at it. My husband sent me pictures up at the house while I've laid in bed sick and it looks pretty good. So I want to go see it in person and I'll show you guys. All right, here is the update on the gun cabinet. Wow, I haven't seen it. 
Y'all got a lot done. Looks good. Turned out pretty Looks nice. Good. We've got some more trim to put in here. Just some little trim like this right here. We're gonna trim out the entire thing. Just give a little bit of extra detail, a little definition. Got to do some green felt, which I've got over here in the table, and we'll do that in a minute. Glue that down here. Really nice looking. And we've got our drawers done. It's turned out really good. Nice big deep drawers. Soft close hinge or drawer slots. And soft close hinges. Mm. Six on this side and six on this side. I planned it like that. <laughs> Y'all did good. <laughs> <laughs>